folks, and welcome to another Coastal Critique. Well, it's spring here on the coast, and that brings the return of occasional sunshine, as well as some of our annual migratory visitors. These include whales and all manner of birds, including hummingbirds. We get two species of hummingbirds here on the coast, annas and rufous hummingbirds. Of the two, the annas hummingbirds are the largest, and some males will even overwinter here on the island, especially in neighborhoods where people put out feeders. Being spring, however, it's not all sunshine and flowers, and with our usual changeable weather, we occasionally get a late spring snowfall. And this brings us to today's image. Today's image is very simple, and is one that makes use of contrast. We had had one of our spring snowfalls, and I saw this hummingbird perched on top of a larch tree. Hummingbirds are typically associated with warm or even tropical climates, and to catch an image of a hummingbird in the snow is already quite visually arresting. This is our first point of contrast. There was a bit more to the story for me, however. This indomitable little bird was carrying on his hummingbird business despite the wind, the snow, and the cold. And I wanted my image to reflect this spirit of overcoming adversity. This is why I chose to put him at the very top of the image. Conventional wisdom would have me frame him in a landscape shot, maybe off on one of the vertical thirds of the image, like so, looking out into the image over here. This would have left a lot of negative space though. And negative space like that implies that the subject is small and alone, and that's not what I was going for in this image. I wanted the opposite. I wanted to reflect that despite his small size, this bird is strong in overcoming adversity. I put him at the very top of the image, right at the peak, to reflect this dominant position. There's a fair amount of visual tension with him up there. Balancing up there on that perch, he seems balanced on this very small twig at the top of the tree, and this creates visual excitement. Given that it had just snowed, the light here is very even which is perfect for bringing out the beautiful colors on the bird. The colors of this image also reinforce the contrast of this small warm weather bird perched in the snow. The blues of the sky, the blues in the snow, and even some of the blues in the branch, along with the greens on the body of the bird, are all cool colors that reinforce this image of a cold, snowy day. Incidentally, the fact that the bird is all puffed up into a little feather ball reinforces this cold feeling to the image. In contrast to the cool colors are the warm orange on the twig, as well as the exciting vivid magenta on the bird's head. It's nice of the bird to have the most exciting color in the image form a nice arc around his eye there, right where we want to be looking. Thanks, little bird. Obviously, these colors aren't compositional choices we get to make in the field, but are certainly worth paying attention to in post-processing. From an image structure point of view, the only thing I wish might have been different is it would have been nice to have a bit more symmetry on the twigs coming off the main branch. We've got one major branch here, and we've got another one there. It might have been nice to have one sort of sticking out here, and that way you could sort of bounce from branch to branch all the way up and snake through with this nice S curve all the way up to the bird. What does work, however, is these branches all imply exciting diagonal lines, which if you look and draw them in your mind's eye, all seem to cradle the bird, enhancing the effect of he's the most important thing at the very top of the image. Lastly, from an image settings point of view, I shot this at 600 millimeters at f5.6 and a five hundredth of a second. Now I was fortunate to have my rig on a tripod so I wasn't too worried about having a high shutter speed because of camera shake, but had I been wanting to take pictures of the bird in flight I probably would have needed to be at least at a five thousandth of a second. And this is why you see a lot of hummingbird images taken with flash. As it is, though, I was able to keep the ISO nice and low at around 640, which gives me a nice noise-free image. Well, that's it for our snowy hummingbird. Enjoy spring wherever you are, hit that subscribe button, 
and I'll see you next time.